What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I am back with another video before I start. If you guys have hit that like button and subscribe for more NBA Brooklyn Nets and Jeremy Lin videos, your support is greatly appreciated as we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you're not sub, be sure to hit that sub button as your support is greatly appreciated. So today I'm going to be going over Jeremy Lin and the Brooklyn Nets win over the New York Knicks. They won by a score of 121 to 110 on the road in Madison Square Garden. Sorry about that. Uh noise there Let me just turn that off so this is actually the Nets first win on the road against an Eastern Conference team in about 30 games I want to say so great for the Nets to get a win and let's just get straight into the, the the recap so some key box score stats Jeremy Lin with 30 minutes played 15 points 8 assists 4 rebounds 2 seals 1 turnover and 3 personal fouls he had a plus minus of plus 14 he shot 5 of 16 from the field, 2 of 9 from the 3-point range, and 3 of 3 from the free throw line. Brooke Lopez with 24 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists. Karis Levert with 13 points and 7 rebounds. Rondé Hollis Jefferson with 20 points, 10 rebounds, and 1 block. For the New York Knicks, 17 points on 6 of 18 shooting from the field and 0 of 6 shooting from 3-point range for Carmelo Anthony. 22 points and 2 assists for Derrick Rose and Kyle O'Quinn off the bench with 23 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists. So, I'm just going to be doing a quick recap right now as I have a lot of work to do. But I st still wanted to get a quick video up, so sorry it's, this is going to be a, a little bit of a shorter video. But the Nets and the Knicks in the first half played very little defense. And the Nets were ice cold from three. They only hit about two three-pointers in the first half, if I'm not mistaken. And the starters actually didn't hit any threes. So the two threes were from the bench, surprisingly. They were down seven at the end of the first half. And in the third quarter, they caught fire behind Jeremy Lin. He hit two threes. Lopez hit one. Randy Foy hit one. And um, who am I missing? I think Karis Lovert hit one as well. So um, it was great for the, for the Nets to catch fire in the third as they eventually took um, I want to say it was a two or three point lead at the end of the third quarter. And in the fourth quarter, um, the Nets bench actually extended the lead. They held on to the lead, which um, is something the Nets bench has struggled to do in many of the games this season. And once the starters came back in, they just uh, held on to the lead for the easy win. So for Jeremy Lin, um, he had a good game tonight. He was ice cold in the first half in the fourth and in the fourth quarter, but the game was basically over by the fourth quarter. So um, the fourth quarter, his uh, cold shooting didn't really matter too much. Um, he also had eight assists to only one turnover, which is great. Um, a good assist to turnover ratio, if you guys don't know, is three to one, I'd say. So eight to one is fantastic. Um, I also think he should have had more assists. There was many blown assists, especially many to Lopez and Rondé House Jefferson, as they either missed an easy lay-in, easy open shot, or in Hollis Jefferson's case, I know Lynn passed to Hollis Jefferson multiple times when Hollis Jefferson caught the pass and he was fouled. Also, I want to say the scorekeepers did not give Lynn at least four assists that I personally counted. So, I mean, some of these assists that weren't called in my opinion were where players took maybe one max two dribbles for you know for the shot and I don't know like the the rules on assists but I'm pretty sure one dribble should still you know count as an assist so I don't know it's it's kind of confusing to me as I definitely think Lynn should have had you know at least a double double in tonight's game but um, it is what it is I guess Lynn played good defense on Derrick Rose overall Derrick Rose shot 7 to 17 from the field even though, you know, Rose scored 22 points, they were on an efficient shooting. So, overall, a very solid night for Lynn in his return to Madison Square Garden as a starter since, I want to say it was since 2012 when Lynn was with Houston. Um, yeah, so, that's about it, actually. So, thanks for watching this quick video. I know it's much shorter than usual, but tomorrow, once the Nets play against the Celtics Friday... I will definitely make a much longer video, more in depth, but tomorrow I have you know, a bunch of uh, tests and I have some schoolwork I have to finish up. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more NBA Brooklyn Nets and Jeremy Lin videos. And I will see you guys 
for tomorrow's game against the Celtics. So once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.